Hey guys, Pukasik29 here. Welcome to episode number 40. We have reached yet another milestone. We are now 40 episodes in. You guys are getting really good. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to vanish players. Basically, you can hide yourself from specific players. Uh, which is pretty cool. Before we begin, I just want to give you guys an update on MC DevNet. Um... The other day, I think it was two or three days ago, I posted a video uh, sound tutorial, and I mentioned uh, my idea for an MC DevNet. I got a lot of comments of people saying that they're very interested in it. So I will definitely make it. I definitely want to make it, and I, and I really hope that it will happen. Um, we need a small team of web developers. We're, we're good with HTML and templates and everything, but if you're good with PHP and you think you can help us, please contact me at pogo629dev at gmail.com because we cannot make the project until we have a small team of PHP developers that can work on MC DevNet. Um, the logo contest is still open. Um, I did get a few submissions already, and they are very nice, by the way. But, um, if you want to submit a logo, you still can. So, that is my little update on MC DevNet. Whenever something new happens, I'll make sure to keep you posted in a video. Um, so yes, web developers, please contact me. Let's go ahead and get started with our Vanish plugin. I have a simple plugin.yml with a Vanish command registered. So let's go ahead and make our um, Vanish. Alright. Alright. So our command will be vanish. So if cmd.getName dot equals in our case vanish. Well even before you do this you are going to want to do a check exclamation point sender instance of player sender dot send message red plus you cannot vanish. And let's just return. Now one quick note about the fact that on command is a boolean. I didn't understand why because it seems like it should just execute the command, but it turns out that if you return false, it will actually show you the usage information from the plugin.yml. So if I were to change this to return false, it would say you cannot vanish and it would send the usage information from plugin.yml. Just so you guys know, I didn't know that. I did. I learned that, and I personally always return true because if there's an error, I would rather, you know, print the error out myself with my own message and maybe a color than have it print out this, you know, ugly message in plain white. So that's just a quick note on that. Uh, so let's see. If our command is vanish, you're probably going to want to do um, check for permissions because I don't think you want everyone to be able to, to vanish. Then, it's actually a lot simpler than you would think. First, we need to go ahead and say player p equals player sender. Every pl the player has a method called, two, there are two methods, hide player and show player. And so basically, what we what we would want to do is make our is uh, in the case of a vanish plugin we would want to hide this player that sent the command to every player on the server so I'm going to show you guys how to do that we're going to want to go ahead and say for player um, pl bucket dot get server dot get online players so we're iterating through every player that is online. And for every player that's online, we want to do pl.hidePlayer p. So when the player uses slash vanish, then it will hide them from all of the online players. 
Now, we do want to have Vanish toggleable, so you can, you know, if you vanish yourself, you can unvanish yourself. So in order to do that, you're going to need a um, an array list of player, and this is vanished equals new array list player. So then in the command, um, first you're going to want to check for permissions, and then you can say if exclamation point vanish dot contains p. So if the player is not already vanished, then we want to hide them, and then we want to add them to the list of players that are vanished. Then we can say else, and you can just copy this and change add to remove, and change hide player to show player. And we need to add our return. So that is pretty much all you need to know. One thing that you would want to do is you're going is you would want to make a um a few listeners. You'd want to make a player join listener that would um that would um hide it would go through all of the players that are vanished and it would hide them. So I I can go ahead and do that. So at event handler public void on player join player join event e all right so when when a player joins what we want to do is we want to say for player p vanished e dot get player dot hide player p and what this is doing is when a player joins it's going through all of the vanished players and it's hiding them from the joined player and the last thing that you're going to need to do is a player leave event or quit event where the where they are removed from the list of vanished people so we're going to make our event handler public void on sorry on player leave and this is a player leave event e um, then we can just say uh, go ahead and import it vanished dot remove sorry e dot get player so we're just going to remove them from the list of vanished players and why isn't this working I think it's a player quit event there we go now yeah there we go all right uh, the last thing that we want to do is just quickly send a message we do need our return statements. I believe. Oh yes, return true. So after we vanish them, we want to say um, p dot send message. You have been vanished. And then we want to do the same thing and say you have been unvanished. And that should be it. We just quickly need our um, public void on enable. Uh, okay, dot get server dot get plugin manager dot register events this comma this and you're going to need to let vanish implement listener. That should be all we need. I'll go ahead and export it. Um, I don't have a second person right now, so I'm not sure if I can prove to you that it vanishes me, but let's just make sure that it will actually work. So let's go ahead and start up the testing server right over here, and we'll have Minecraft right over here. And looks like server is starting up a bit slow. And all right, so let's go ahead and join our local host. All right, so now we're on our local host server, and let's let me go ahead and do slash vanish. It will it'll say you have been vanished. Now I can't. I don't believe I can prove to you that I have been vanished because I don't have a second player. 
but I can confirm to you that it will work if you test it yourself with a second player. And I'll just quickly show you. Uh, if I run vanish again, it will say you've been unvanished. And now one quick thing, if I, if I am vanished and I leave and I join again, just give that a second to log in, and I type slash vanish, it will say you've been vanished because when I um, left, it unvanished me. So that is all for this uh, episode. You guys learned how to show and hide players from other players by making a simple, very simple Vanish plugin. Um, as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment what you want to learn. Web developers, contact me. And uh, I'll see you guys very soon.